Hi, we're here today to talk about a pre-approval or a pre-qual. Which one is best? Hi, my name is Tim Carroll with Team TLC Mahara Associates. We sell real estate, my team in Tampa, Florida. I'm here today with Patrick Storch to talk about pre-qualification and pre-approval. What's the difference? What's best? Tim, thanks for having me. I'm Patrick Storch with the mortgage firm in Tampa. And big, big discrepancy out there, especially for listing agents, buyers, agents, and buyers. There is a pre-qualification and then there is a pre-approval. What is the difference and how much more powerful is a pre-approval letter? So my definition of a pre-qualification is I just spoke to you. We pulled your credit. Uh, you told me how much money you make. Told me told me, told me where you work, and everything looks good. Credit's good, verbally, everything's good. We'll issue you a pre-qualification letter, okay? A pre-approval letter, I've verified. I've seen your pay stubs. I've seen your tax returns. I've seen it. I've put my hands on the bank statements. Now, it's so much more important and valuable to have a pre-approval letter because, you know, our lending guidelines are always changing. And, you know, self-employed borrows, for one example, you know, you might think you make a lot more money than you really do to a mortgage broker, okay? Because we look at the tax returns after all expenses and things like that. The so, bottom line. Bottom line line so it's really really important to have the pre-approval to make sure that you're pre-approved for the house now next step the listing agents if it's a great listing agent like this guy right here when they receive a pre-approval letter or a pre-qualification letter on a house on a listing that he has he's gonna call the mortgage professional okay and if Tim calls me and I tell Tim that I have seen the pay stubs, W-2s, bank statements, and everything looks good. Or if I say, well, they told me how much money they make and I haven't really seen anything, but it sounds good. I mean, which is better? It's that pre-approval letter, okay? And I can talk it up a lot better for the client if I have all that information on the client, okay? So on a pre-approval, we run you through the DU, the LP, the internal process. We really vet you to make sure you can buy that house. And in this market today, with how many offers on a house? Oh, you could have 10, 15 offers on a house and everybody looks at the offers and they look at what kind of letter do we have? What kind of approval do we have? What kind of lender are we dealing with? Is it a online lender? Is it a local lender? Is it someone who has a reputation? Those things are important when you decide, okay, I'll take this offer. Yeah. Definitely important working with a local lender opposed to an online lender because we have local um, appraisers, local title companies, local... Tim knows how to get a hold of me at all hours. And trust hours. me, you will need me on the weekends and you will need me at night, I promise you. And if you go to an online lender or a local bank, four o'clock, they're done. So, you know, we'll be there for you. So, super important. Pre-approval, much better than a pre-qualification letter. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. So I think that's it. I'm good. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and ring the little bell. And if you didn't know before, now you know more.